As a private collection, it's number one in the world. Approximately there's 1,500 aircraft in, in the collection here and now. It started back in when I was a little boy. My dad, God rest him, used to bring me to Shannon Airport. When I saw aircraft, I just, just fell in love with them. And I was only five or six at that point. But whatever was between me and aeroplanes, it was just magic. Shannon Airport, it was the centre of my world. Style, class, and the aircraft themselves were just absolutely amazing. I just said this is for me. I'd be in, at home then in Jamesboro playing with my ball and I might be here as I count in the sky. And I'd do everything, I'd nearly try to pull back the clouds to see could I see it. So my aunt is down in, in uh, Aberystwyth in Wales and Holders found a beautiful little model shop. I'm just about 16, so she wrote to Dad and Dad gave me the money then to go to this lovely man in Wales. That was the beginning of my real journey. I got my first job. I started serving my time as an apprentice plumber fitter, so I was able to make plenty of money. And I remember the guy in him was Lee. He said to me, there's a guy in Heathrow called Nigel Milton Tompkins. He said, if you get in with this guy, this guy will get you anything. He's just a genius, so I headed over with 10 grand in my pocket. Huge money that I had saved. Mad money. I took 17 planes on the day. I was able to hit Heathrow then at least once every six weeks. I live in an old, uh, an old restored farmhouse in Limerick City. And we built a, a room then off the house, 65 feet long. So I was able to put all my models out there and uh, on uh, a display. I would have spent about 25,000 a year, over 20 years. I spent four, between four and 500,000, I'd say. I'd heard from colleagues who had worked here in the past about Michael, I said, you must go and see it. When you walked into, the, there was planes to the left of me, there was planes to the right of me, there was planes in front of me. It really was an aviation enthusiast heaven. Because once you meet Michael, his enthusiasm, his knowledge of all these planes, he knows every aircraft type. Michael has all the history behind where these aircraft were, where they've flown, who they've flown with. I chuffed that they're in Shannon. It's, it's a job well done as far as I'm concerned. I feel though personally it's a great achievement. I don't, I don't regret a bit of it. It was a very, very hard journey that I absolutely adored.